Hello, I'd like to be able to talk to you about why you should study mathematics A-levels here at um, Birkenhead High School Academy. So studying maths and further maths actually provides a stimulating as well as challenging course. Um, one of the good reasons for studying mathematics A-levels is it develops key skills which employers look for, such as um, problem solving, reasoning, communication, and indeed resilience. Um, it's used to increase your knowledge and understanding of mathematical techniques and its applications. And what it also does is it supports um, the study of mathematics in other A-level subjects. So a lot of subjects use mathematics um, in them, particularly science, psychology, and other subjects as well. It does provide excellent preparation for a wide range of university courses, and it leads to um, a versatile education that is certainly well respected by employers and by higher education. In fact, mathematics is the most popular A-level su subject in the country. Um, one of the misconceptions about um, studying mathematics is you only need to do it if you're going to do a, d a degree course, which offers that, or a, you want to do a STEM degree. Um, so that's a, a huge misconception about that. You can do mathematics alongside many other different A-levels uh, as well. Um, another misconception which we really want to dispel is that mathematics is only for a male-dominated world. Well, here at Birkenhead High School Academy, we want to really encourage all um, girls to take part in maths A-level. We want to increase the opportunities for women to get involved in uh, careers which use mathematics. So that's really something we want to promote to make and to encourage that you to do that. In fact, uh, studying maths, um, maths A level particularly, uh, gives you a better opportunity to earn than any other subject, 10% more on average. OK, so really, as I'm saying, we want to encourage as many women as possible to use um, mathematics to uh, find careers which use those kind of skills. So what is the mathematics? What is a mathematics A-level? Well, the maths A-level consists of three exams at the end of the year over two main parts. One is what we call uh, the core or the pure mathematics, which you'll be studying um, calculus for the first time, as you'll be learning about that. You'll also be looking at trigonometry and some aspects of, of algebra as well. So continuing those kind of uh, things that you've done previously at GCSE. And also you'll be doing what's called an applied module on mechanics and statistics. So statistics, you've got an idea about those things from the past, but mechanics is the kind of the mathematics in everyday life, the kind of the maths and physics, why things happen, when the collisions take place, what forces or things happen in those kind of situations. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what the maths A level is. So that's the, the exams take place at the end of year 13. As I said, there's three exams there, and each one contributes to a third of the course. Two of those exams are in the pure maths, and the other exam is a combination of mechanics and statistics. We also here at Birkenhead High School Academy, we also offer further mathematics. So further mathematics is not just more of the same. Um, it's different. It's uh, digging deeper into things. What we do currently uh, is we have a compulsory module of core mathematics that's studying um, force, well, studying kind of algebra calculus in more detail. You'll be introduced to something called complex numbers. What's the square root of minus one? You'll think that can't be done. We'll see how that is applied. Uh, we also do um, a couple of the applied modules. In the lower sixth, we cover decision mathematics, which is about networks and algorithms, links a bit towards computing. And also, currently in year 13, we cover further, further mechanics as well as the other core module. So in terms of if you want to do A-level mathematics or A-level further mathematics, the requirement is a grade seven at GCSE. Okay, thank you for listening.